there's power in every spoken word of God to bring itself to pass. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. There is power in every spoken word of God to bring itself to pass in your present life if you will speak them and this is my attempt to take you from whatever it was that you were doing mm -hmm. into said faith say into, into. Said, faith. said faith spoken faith and I know that's not where you've been you've been in something else second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16 all scripture is given by inspiration of God other translations say God breathed all scripture is God breathed meaning God spoke it are you here yes where did he speak it into the earth very good so all scripture is God breathed spoken into the earth and say and and, and is profitable profitable to who well profitable to God well okay but it's profitable to you so these words say words words, words that God spoke into the earth become profitable to you what words are profitable to you say the spoken words, the spoken words of God, God are profitable to me profitable. not the written words that are written down they're, those are nice I'm glad that they're written down because they don't change mm -hmm. but it's the spoken word of God that will profit you remember my statement there is power in every spoken word of God to bring itself to pass the spoken word of God are you here you got to get this I'm telling you this is one of the most powerful things you will ever hear for this present life if you will hear it if you don't hear it it's not gonna profit you so all scripture is God breathed and profitable when breathed second Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20 for all of the promises of God in him are yes and in him amen mm -hmm. how many of the promises of God uh, all of the promises of God so we're specifically talking about the promises we're generally talking about all the Word of God mm -hmm. but specifically about the promises mm -hmm that they have the power within themselves to bring themselves to pass first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but trust in the Living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy how many things all, all things not two things not three things not some things all things to enjoy so two things we must know mm -hmm. is who the Living God is and how we walk with him if we are going to enjoy all things second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 16 says for you are the temple of the living God who is the God that's dwelling in you the Holy, the Holy Ghost and here he is specifically called the Living God mm -hmm. 1st Corinthians chapter 6 and then verse 19 mm -hmm. 
what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost the other verse said your body is the temple of the Living God this verse says your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost that should settle it that the Living God is the Holy Ghost right so we trust in the Living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy who is this Living God Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is that settled mm -hmm. yes the Living God is the Holy Ghost and that's good news because he's with us in the earth today so the Living God is the Holy Ghost and he does all things by saying words do you remember in Genesis I don't know that we need to turn there but I guess we could it's easy to find Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth the Spirit God moved upon the face of the waters and God said so he's a spirit God and he says things say the Spirit God, the spirit God. does things by saying. by saying see that's how he started out and he doesn't change from that that's still the way he does things get it straight now I have many other messages on that and I'll put a link to them below or above or however it shows up we're talking about the Living God giving you richly all things to enjoy we know who he is he's the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today and we know that he does things by saying words right Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith the Lord so he immediately is saying that his ways are not your ways you weren't doing it this way my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith the Lord verse 10 for as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and returns not thither but waters the earth and makes it bring forth and bud verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth what's he talking about words that go forth out of his mouth he spoke those words the spoken words of God shall do these things get this straight the spoken words of God will do these things it will make it bring forth and bud so shall my spoken word be that goes forth out of my mouth it my spoken word shall not return to me void but it my spoken word shall accomplish that what shall accomplish that his spoken word get it straight it's not just his word it's his spoken word when you speak his word it accomplishes that which he pleases and it his spoken word prospers in the thing whereunto he sent it what prospers what accomplishes the spoken word of God are you getting this mm -hmm. well, he started off by saying God's ways are not your ways meaning you weren't doing this God's way is calling things that be not as though they were say calling things, calling things. what's another way you could say calling things speaking things you're calling them when you speak them Romans chapter 4 verse 17 as it is written I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed even God who quickens the dead and calls those things which be not as though they were what does God do he calls things so he says them until they become the thing that he said that's exactly what we read in Isaiah 55 so shall my word be it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish that so his way is to call things that be not 
so who's the God that does this the Holy Ghost and he does it this way now Abram struggled with the promise of God until he changed what he said and he became Abraham the father of many nations but like Abram this is not the way you were doing it before but this is the way that you are getting things now getting all things richly to enjoy comes this way your way was to worry analyze strategize think about and you check with your feelings to see if you feel the right way about it and then you worry some more and by worry I mean praying because you worry before God you tell him all the issues and all the problems it's a, just another form of worry and that would result in a release of all of your anxiety and now all of a sudden you feel a little bit better because of it so you check your feelings and you go oh well I feel a little bit better so you know that was worth it and people would say oh I like my way I'm comfortable with my way and being comfortable not getting results mm -hmm. no results just praying mm -hmm. feeling good because I said my prayer are you here mm -hmm. this is my way in fact I'm uncomfortable having real results mm -hmm. I'm uncomfortable having a new way with new results mm -hmm but if you do what I'm talking about you will have results it's impossible to not have results because you are speaking his word forth and it does not return void mm -hmm. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 this book of the law or the word of God shall not depart out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night the word meditate means to mutter it to actually say it you have to say the Word of God thou shalt say the Word of God day and night how how often is that that's all the time Amen. now if you don't do that you don't get the result if you do do that you do get the result which we'll read on here in a minute but if what you what you're doing is just telling God your problems in a worry sort of state until you feel better that's not this that's the opposite of this let's read on here thou shalt meditate or mutter the Word of God day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success why would you make your way prosperous and why would you have good success because his word is in your mouth and it can't return void but it will accomplish that this becomes your way his word in your mouth his word in your mouth day and night causes you to prosper and be a success in whatever word that is that you put in your mouth mm -hmm. day and night you know how many people don't do this most people would rather do the prayer thing for an hour and feel a little bit better mm -hmm. and yet have no results mm -hmm they're not doing this and therefore they're not getting the prosperity and the success that this verse of Scripture promises speaking his word is calling things that be not hear things 
hear things you're calling things what things am i calling i'm calling for the promise of god and how am i calling them i'm saying them when you say the word of god out your mouth you are calling the word of god you're calling for it and it comes to you say it, it comes to me comes to me who doesn't it come to the one, who say it. the one who doesn't say it the one who doesn't call it who does it come to me because I'm calling it and the answer shows up it just shows up because I called for it I've done this a hundred times it shows up when I call for it and I've proved the other side of it it doesn't show up if I don't call for it so you can choose what you call for can you see this mm -hmm. if I choose to call for prosperity scriptures prosperity will show up it will come to you if I choose to speak healing and youth renewal scriptures it will show up it will come to you those words won't return void choose you this day you choose you can understand a lot of Christians have a problem with that oh you can't choose it's the will of God it's up to the will of God what he, that is the will of God mm -hmm. and it will accomplish that which he pleases if he didn't want you to have prosperity he should not have spoken it out into his written word mm -hmm. because someone is gonna come along and begin speaking that promise of God and it won't return void mm -hmm. how about youth renewal same thing if he didn't want your youth to be renewed he shouldn't have spoken it so it must be his will is his word his will it is. so am I to just wait around for his will to come to me or am I to say his word and call his word and that spoken word has the power within itself to bring itself to pass in my life because I say it and I call it are you here yes what if I don't do any of that then I don't get it and that's not the will of God yeah. so choose you this day choose choose a few verses of Scripture and prove it this pleases God it becomes the substance of things that you live in what does those verses I've called for and have spoken day and night become the substance of the things that I live in all things richly for me to enjoy now do you want to have a Halliburton full of cash or God's power to get wealth is it possible for you to have God's power to get wealth is there a promise that promises you that Deuteronomy 8 18 it is God who gives thee power to get wealth he's given you the promise to have God's power to get wealth and you don't want it because you don't say it I choose God's power to get wealth how do I choose it I choose to say it and when I say it the power that's in those words it is God who gives me power to get wealth begins to hear my voice and starts to come to me and that power begins to manifest itself in my life the substance of it I begin to live in you keep calling and it comes to you it answers you the answers show up say the answers, the answers show, up show up because you called them you think God has the answers create your own calling again kick me out of most churches because I say these things 
create your own calling this is your calling what is a calling you're calling for something and then move into it create your own calling and then move into it this pleases God I move into it me first and then others I've come to this over and over in my life I move into it first whether anybody else comes along or not me first say me first me first and then others Acts chapter 1 verse 8 and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth mm -hmm. my point for reading this is it begins where you're at this is where they were at and then it goes out unto the town that you're in and then it goes out farther and farther are you here but where did it begin you are the witness a witness is someone who says things are you getting this yes. me first and then others if you don't go here first in your calling then others can't go with you and by me the whole earth shall be covered with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord that I walk in because there's power in every spoken word of God to bring itself to pass Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people that they've heard this word this evening and as they put your word in their mouth that word says the Spirit Lord shall surely come to pass in your life keep it there until it completely alters every part of your being and you shall know the glory that I have embedded in those words for you we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship you God. I've entered in to the room of Holy Ghost worship where everything is available to me and I call those things to come to me right now in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God near